What's up everyone? In today's video, I want to talk about my 23andMe results as well as show you the extra report you can order directly from Dr. Rhonda Patrick's website, which basically queries a large database using your gene types, matches it, and exports you a PDF report. Let's get into it. A lot of people ask me where I'm from or they'll just take random guesses on YouTube videos and on Instagram posts. So I wanted to share this 23andMe results video with you guys and gals. I'm a huge proponent of information, getting as much information as you possibly can. And the 23andMe report, as well as what you would get from Ancestry.com, they're pretty resourceful in my opinion and they can give you a lot of information about your genealogy, your lineage and connect you with relatives. I didn't do the 23andMe report to find out who my relatives are and to connect with those. My big interest was taking the 23andMe report, which is basically a text file, and then uploading that to Rhonda Patrick's website. And I'll put all the links in the description below if you want to visit Dr. Rhonda Patrick's website. She'll give you a very comprehensive report that tells you all sorts of different stuff from the type of supplements you should be using to ones you shouldn't be using to how you should structure your diet and your training, your exercise. Let's get into some of that. And I'm also going to share with you my so I'm actually part Irish, part Western Asian, and part Italian Greek. So let's break this down. The first part is Irish with a little bit of Welsh British. My last name is actually Evans, which is a Welsh last name. And uh, I actually have a Greek name as well, which is my last name is Kinikos, but we'll get into that in a second. So the Irish side is 37.7%, 27% Western Asia. And it's really neat how 23andMe breaks it down and they put Western Asia. The part of me that's from Western Asia, that 27%, is actually Cyprus, specifically Cyprus. So I'm Cypriot. And this isn't any surprise to me. My father is Cypriot. I'm actually the first one born in Canada on either side. My father came over from Cyprus and my mother came over from Ireland. I'm 27% Cypriot and 37% Irish. Now the remaining 21%, it notes it as Italian, but it says that it could have been Greeks that went to Italy. So my lineage dates back to Italy, but it's most likely Greeks that would have immigrated over from, uh, from Greece or from even Cyprus, which was noted as Western Asia. Now let's get into the actual extended report that you can get from Rhonda Patrick, which I think is really valuable, really resourceful. And it basically stated that I should be training heavy weight with low repetition and my muscle fibers are intermediate fast twitch muscle fibers and they respond quite well to that style of training. I also saw in the report that I have a, a high or a really good cardio respiratory response and I don't notice that as well actually even if I go out for a walk with my Doberman Pinscher Dante I will typically run with him or jog and I just feel better doing so. I don't feel as good when I'm just walking at a steady pace. It's kind of boring for me, kind of slow. And I guess that would correlate to the uh, cardiorespiratory response rate that I, that I saw in this report. Something else that it said is I actually have a two-fold, two times fold risk for blood cancer. And it's, this is really interesting. It says that I can actually avoid this if I do intermittent fasting for a minimum of 16 hours a day and if I also supplement resveratrol. It's like a grapeseed extract, or you can get it from red wine. You can get it from all different types of stuff, but I actually went and bought the resveratrol supplement. I'm interested in information. I'm interested in taking that information and making it applicable towards my life, improve my overall quality of life. Another really interesting fact in my report, it said that I should avoid supplementing with vitamin E and that I should most likely just get that from food sources because supplementing vitamin E could be harmful for me. That's really interesting. It also said that I have, I have a genetic deficiency for vitamin D. So I've actually been taking, making an active effort to take more vitamin D because sometimes I won't take it, I'll just miss it. And it's probably not a good idea if I wanna follow this report as strict as possible. There was also some really interesting stuff saying that I have a genetic high risk for obesity and diabetes. Some of you have been subscribed for a while, you know I went through like a weight loss journey. Like a, I grew up very athletic, very healthy overall, martial arts, sports, and all sorts of different stuff. It's like if I kept going down that path, if I didn't start exercising, if I didn't start implementing intermittent fasting and improving my way of life, then I could have easily ended up being obese and having issues with health and diabetes and whatnot. I'd like to summarize the, the report in saying that it, it in large part aligned with what I'm already doing and what I already feel naturally inclined to do. I found that really interesting when it said that I should be doing intermittent fasting to avoid the risk for blood cancer. Basically that says that it will clear out the cancerous cells if I do so. And it also says that I should be doing heavy lifting and I should be doing some sort of cardio or high intensity interval training. 
these are things that I naturally feel inclined to do. So it's really cool to see this in the report and I'm going to share some links in the description below if you want to order your own report and I'm also going to share some more information in the description below and I may throw up a blog post about this as well so definitely keep an eye out for that but if you have any questions about 23andMe or Dr. Rhonda Patrick's uh, additional report you can order feel free to comment down below and let me know or just shoot me a message anywhere uh, and if you were actually surprised from what my, my DNA lineage showed about where I'm from you know which countries and continents then comment down below as well uh, otherwise, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it entertaining. And I hope you try 23andMe and try that extended report from Dr. Rhonda Patrick because there's lots of value there. So hit this video with thum a thumbs up if you haven't already done so. Add it to your favorite, share with a friend. And I will catch you again next time. Take care.